training program I'll be discussing about what is the training program what are the various module we are going to cover what job role it consists of and how do you how your complete learning is going to be and the second part of the training I'll be discussing about what is obey and architecture how OBI is different than any other reporting tool in the market and what is coming up what is Oracle roadmap in next coming years I'll walk you through what is all training program consists of and what we are going to cover the training is gonna be um, the total duration of the training is 40 hours and this divided into various module we more focus on case studies and solving the real-time problem okay so first this training program is the role associated with this training program is very very specific and very particular about the role and assignment you're going to have in your real time the role you could be a OBI report developer the report developer and OBI could be in a com some big company they they are very specific about report developer role so you could be a logical data modeler a logical data modeler would be uh, someone who designed the RPDs in OBI terminologies data modeler so in order to design a data model you should be knowing the ins and outs about the business and the respective data model so you could be specialized in OBI data modeler or could be a report and dashboard developers some organizations are very particular about the job roles we also do cover some aspects of OBA administration we don't call it complete administration because this consists of infrastructure activities as well so some part of administration we do cover it so as a developer how do you manage your development environment create user administration backup recovery performance tuning all the major administrative activities we do cover over here but we don't call it complete OBA administrator this require additional knowledge on respective database and operating system so as a developer what day-to-day -day administration activities you require to manage your development environment QA environment you should be knowing that okay the training will be divided into various modules we want to ensure that our training program most in line with what is happening these days and we have been working in the industry current market so we know very well that how things are working how things are changing the training would be divided in various modules the first part of the module would be um, some of the people are absolutely new to data warehousing fundamentals they are not exposed to this environment and therefore we give the fundamentals of data warehousing all the keywords jargon and terminologies I'm going to be used would be covered in this this would be recorded session in order to ensure that we cover maximum part of OBI and save our time so we'll share across the recorded session of data warehousing fundamental there will be two session for this the people who are absolutely new to data warehousing can go through this video and learn the basics about it so what all required to know this would be covered over here there would be one additional session and optional for dimensional modeling uh, in multi-dimensional environment you know every month every every quarter things are changing so rapidly so it is very difficult to inline the training with the, the things changing world therefore we try to incorporate new component in it and whatever is our legacy and getting old we want to serve to the user as recorded session so a dimension modeling there would be one topic which will be I will give you as a recorded session where we will discuss about multi-dimensional data source okay so module 1 would be all about fundamentals and module 2 will discuss about the major area of any reporting the area which ensure the correct 
and consistency of data. There are two things. Reporting depends on the success of the reports upon how elegantly or correctly you display the data. So any reporting consists of two things. Two things. Accuracy of data. The data should be correct. And presentation of data. Both of things are equally responsible. But you understand that if the data is inaccurate, not correct, presenting in an elegant manner doesn't add any value. So the accuracy of data should be paid more attention uh, as compared to presentation of data. So module 2 would be talking about data modeling, logical data modeling. Logical data modeling most important aspects, how do you deal with the various uh, you know, issues associated with data modeling and how do you ensure that data you are presenting possess the real business problem and get the correct data. And one simple word for us, if we are technical developer or user, all numbers are numbers for us. Everything is a number for me, for you. But for business user, each number has a business meaning. Right? So this is the difference. If you are a technical developer, you may not understand the sense or the importance of the number. We don't have that feeling, whereas business understand that. Therefore, in logical data modeling, one of the very important area as very experienced architect, I pay equal attention to possess the real-time business problem and ensure the data which my report is going to fetch or display to the user is 100% accurate. So in data, logical data modeling, this is also called RPD building. We'll discuss about this. And to be very honest, more intelligence required in data modeling as compared to formatting the report. So there will be 20 classes, 20 logical classes about various aspects of data modeling where we discuss relational database as source and multidimensional database. Things are changing so fast. In the old days, we, the source is often relational database or legacy, flat file, Excel sheets, XML file, but things are changing so fast. We are having a built-in ready-made solution. So my reporting technology should be in such a way that it can fix, fit on any structure. We'll discuss about this in detail. So in module 2, we'll discuss about building data model. In module 3, we discuss about answer and dashboards. Uh, there would be 12 logical classes. When I say logical class, it could be 1 hour or even more than 1 hour. So in answer dashboard, we discuss about various aspects of presenting data to the user, ensuring the, the way user requests are the same way we are presenting data and make it more meaningful, meaningful to them. The fourth module would be consist of BI publishers. We understand there are some category of users who are not comfortable working on web, they love to have a static report, dashboard based static report. So we do cover this in BI Publisher part. And BI Publisher is gonna be is going to be one common component for all Oracle products. And let me add one more word. OBI is going to be one centralized reporting tool across all Oracle products. So if you are working in ERP solution, Oracle eBusiness Suite, PeopleSoft, JD AdWords, Hyperion, traditional RDBMS, OLAP, any technology you use, the Oracle roadmap to use OBI as one centralized reporting solution and BI publisher part of it. And the fifth module will talk about case studies the case studies, if you go to our blog, we have published many case studies for various industries. The so case studies ensure that whatever you have learned, we put to the, you know, put them together into common unit and you know the relationship 
between the various components you have learned. So consolidating your learning will do cover as a part of case study. So case study, we decide to have two components. First, there's a built-in ready-made reports provided by OBI, which is called sample sales. This is built-in reports. OBI use this report to demonstrate OBI capability to the various clients. When they bid the project, they use one of these reports to showcase what are the various capabilities, activities, and strength of this tool. Therefore, we decided to choose this as a case study because it covers all the important aspects and we need re-engineering on this. Re-engineering means it's a ready-made solution provided by Oracle. We open the solution and solve it in a step-by-step -step manner. So this is one case study we'll look into. This would be based on RDBMS. Complete end-to-end -end implementation which consists of understanding the requirement, um, you know, converting them into logical model, present creating reports and dashboard. Everything would be part of it. And then we prepare a, a domain specific case study for the user. So financial reports and dashboard. So the objective of this case study is to uh, incorporate two things. First, introduce you how do you fetch data from multi-dimensional database and also help you to understand domain specific report. It will also help you to understand how to interpret a requirement and design the solution for the client. So all the complete five modules are designed in such a way that uh, eventually the training should be productive for you and you get into the project or assignment and start contributing from the first day. So the simple sense, a simple meaning of the training, the more you practice, the more you learn. There will be five modules. Okay, uh, as we people are, you know, uh, work in the real industries and we know the day-to-day -day challenges associated with this, therefore we, um, when we provide a solution to the client as a part of POC, proof of concept, the same we take it and extract the important knowledge from there. And we try to keep on adding into our case studies. Regarding learning material, let me tell you, we have got one, one of the big, world biggest learning material for Oracle BI industry. We have been working for last 10 years. As a result of this, we keep on getting various requirements, understanding, and therefore it become automatically, we got very huge learning material for OBI. So we will be providing you a student guide which have, which is more concept specific theory and concept and concept about OBI. There would be a lab guide every day whatever is going to be, whatever I will teach you or somebody I teach in my team, we share the same thing to you so that you can practice along with us. So there will be lab guide. This practical guide with practical material. It means whatever data model I simulate, the same data model I share with you, you can reproduce the problem into your own local environment so that just to ensure that whatever you are learning, it is adding value to your um, knowledge. So everything, every day, whatever practical I'll show you, I'll share right away in the class, after the class. There would be additional learning, depends upon your availability. We call it additional learning means, you know, depends upon, you may not have approved enough time to go through all the material so that at least you go through student guide and lab guide. If you have additional time, you can go through the, some, uh, specific areas and specialize into that. For additional material, there are close to 200 documentation we published into our blog. You can download them. These are various series like how to series. Some of the documents I published for global access. However, 60% of documents are for our internal students and our clients. So we have a how to series 
in which we simulate various OBI problem and how to solve them. Every day we have a policy. Any one of my clients, any one of my consultant finds some difficult issues, and the moment he overcome that, we we document that. So we publish a how to series.